Today, I'm sharing with you five digital products that you can create using AI tools. Some of these products can make over $34,000 a month. With digital products, it means you're keeping a roughly 90% profit margin, and they're almost completely passive. Since the masses haven't really caught on to these digital products, it means the niches are relatively untapped. So, without further ado, let's get into idea number one, which is definitely the strangest one on the list, generating patterns. I just came across this shop called Sweet Shop Design, and they're selling digital download patterns. Their seamless patterns are commonly used for making printable papers, but you could really use the patterns for whatever you wanted to. Now, granted, they only have about 35,000 sales and they only sell their packs for about $1.95 each, but that still has to bring their total up to around $70,000. The Shop Papers by Helen only has about 5,500 sales, but that's still about $14,000 in passive income, and not to mention she only has 37 listings. Now I understand that the profit potential isn't quite as high as some of the following ideas. But just look at how easy it is to generate these patterns. We can get AI to do all of the work for us. C. Mid Journey is an image generation AI which I'm sure you're familiar with by now. You just give it a prompt and it'll generate an image based on that prompt right before your eyes. But there is a little trick that not a lot of people know about. We can create seamless pattern designs using Mid Journey AI. So I gave it a prompt like this. Now the first half is the type of pattern that we want and the things we want included in it. And the second half is just AI keywords to make a pretty image. These are some example images that I got by using this prompt which in my opinion isn't too bad. The cool thing is Mid Journey almost always prints a seamless pattern design so if we just bring our pattern into a website like PhotoPet which is a free Photoshop alternative, we can select the image and define it as a new pattern. This allows us to replicate the pattern and make it larger, make it smaller, or really do anything with it that we want. We could just save this file and offer it as a digital download on Etsy. Using the prompt from earlier, I was able to create patterns like these in just a matter of minutes with hardly any work at all. Idea number two, selling wedding resources. For this example, a shop called A Wild Bloom Printables has likely already made close to $1.6 million from selling these digital download wedding resources. Items like their wedding invitation templates get hundreds of reviews and they're extremely simple designs. Other shops like Twist Stationery have very similar designs and, as you can see, they're in very high demand. This shop even made into the top 100 sellers of the last 30 days with 13,964 sales, which would likely amount close to $34,910 based on their average price of $2.50 just from the last 30 days. Now, all of that is great. But how can we use AI to break into this market and automate as much as possible? I would use a combination of Midjourney and Canva to achieve this. For example, we could go into Midjourney and ask it to generate us a minimalist wedding invitation template. I generated the same prompt a few times to get more options and then upscaled the images that I liked. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more technical. What I did was bring the image into a website called PhotoPet so that I could use the content-aware fill tool to remove these alien-like scribbles from across the front. Then, I just took the image and put it into Canva and added back in the text boxes so that my customers could use this as a template. Now, admittedly, I didn't know what text boxes needed to be there, so I used ChatGPT to help me figure that out, and it was happy to do so. For this idea, AI does all of the design work and even gives you an idea of where to place the text boxes in Canva. But there's still some manual work here, so I'd say AI is only really taking care of about 65% of the work because you still have to remove the alien text and turn it into a template. This next product is what I first started selling on Etsy years ago. My first ever sale on Etsy was for some real estate buyer and seller guides. It's like a walkthrough of the home buying or selling process that real estate agents can give to their prospective clients. I was making these several years ago and actually had some decent income before I ultimately switched niches. But had I kept posting in this niche, 
I could have seen success like this shop real estate templates company where they've done over 40,000 sales. Those sales have likely brought in around $244,000 based on their average price of $5.99. But it could be a lot higher than that considering some of their hottest products cost between $20 and even $30. This idea isn't just for real estate packets. The store shop our shop has posted all kinds of products from Airbnb cleaning checklists, photography welcome guides, to cookbooks and recipe templates. Almost all of their resources are just some kind of text in a creative font. So, how could we use AI to automate this kind of product? I used ChatGPT for this one since there are a few components of one of these real estate packets. I just asked ChatGPT what I should put in my real estate buyer guide. It gave me a breakdown of what I should include and then I asked it to start writing me portions of text to go in each section. Now. I know from being in real estate that this is the exact kind of information that buyers or sellers need before they go through the process of listing or buying a home. But we could also get it to generate us useful information for Airbnb welcome guides or what to include on our cleaning checklists. You really have an advantage if you're able to create resources for an industry that you're familiar with. For example, it's going to be a lot easier to create Airbnb resources if you run an Airbnb, but you don't necessarily have to. Now. I know what you're thinking and you're right, AI is only completing about 70% of the work here since you still have to take all of that text and put it into Canva, Pages or Word and make it look nice. Plus, you'd spend up to $13 a month depending on whether or not you needed Canva. Otherwise, this one's a pretty cheap one to start. Idea number 4 is one of my favorites and also one of the most profitable, opening a logo design shop. Shops like this one are charging $10 per logo pack here on Etsy, and with their 52,000 sales, that's over half a million dollars. See, a lot of their logo packs are good, but they're also very simple so you can find a lot of these elements like the watercolor marks on Canva already. The shop logo lane targets a more premium audience with their logo packages that range from $39 up to $130, even with their lower 13,000 sales. That's still between $520,000 and $1.6 million dollars in profit. So there's a lot of money to be made selling logos just on Etsy. And that doesn't even include websites like Fiverr and Creative Market. And nowadays, you don't even have to be a graphic designer to make this work. Midjourney can create logos for almost anything. I used ChatGPT to come up with a list of some businesses that I could make cool logos for. And here's what it came up with. Now, I went back to Midjourney and input my own prompt, which was for a black crow standing upon a bag of coffee beans. And honestly, I was shocked. I've been using Midjourney for a while now, and it honestly just keeps getting better and better. Now, to make this business work, you'd obviously have to get good at prompt crafting and using Midjourney. It's taken me some time to learn how to speak AI, but it's clearly much faster than trying to recreate a logo like this from scratch. And for everyone who's going to comment why would someone pay for this when they can just go generate it in Midjourney themselves. Well, a lot of people just don't know that you can do this and it does take time to learn how to craft great prompts that get you the type of images that you're looking for. Like with anything, there's value in speed and a lot of people just don't know that this is an option. But sadly, it's not perfect. See, Midjourney makes these logos with this alien language printed on them most of the time. So, to remove it, you'd have to learn how to use PhotoPet or Photoshop to erase the old text and put in something new. But with a little bit of time, you could go from something that looks like this with the alien text to something more like this. Again, a little bit of time and skill can go a long way if you're willing to learn how to use these tools and create great logos with them. AI can probably handle about 80% to 91% of the work here. This one sounds more boring, it's probably because it is. But sometimes boring can still make you really good money. Back to the shop that we just looked at called Logo Lane. They charge an additional $20 for a simple business card design. There's also shops like Trendy Fox Studio which sells a lot of different templates that's selling just business card designs for $5.60 a piece. It's hard to tell what percentage of the sales are just from the business cards. But when you see that some of their best sellers are these business card packs, it's clear that business cards are driving a lot of sales. So whether it's an upsell to a logo design or it's a standalone business card, 
there's a lot of money to be made here. The cool thing is how easy it is to come up with great designs using AI. So we can just ask Mid Journey for whatever kind of business card we're thinking of designing and get some great inspiration for it. It'll create images just like normal, and this is what I use to create business card templates. Now, it isn't just that easy. See, what I had to do was take the image that I generated in mid-journey into Canva, where I essentially had to replace all of the areas that there was supposed to be text with text boxes so that when I sold the business card, they could use it as a template. And I had to add any extra elements like lines or graphics. So basically, I had to recreate the entire business card in Canva after I had mid-journey AI come up with the design. Now, while this isn't the fastest thing to do, it still only took a few minutes. And because we recreated the business cards in Canva, when someone buys it, we can just share it as a template to our customers, just like we did with the wedding resources. These are just a few of the many ideas that you could get started with, and I've already posted a few videos on my channel with different ways to make money using AI. Let me know which tutorial you'd like to see first from the ideas that we just talked about. It always helps me when you like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you soon.